What's up guys, it's Danta. So recently Blizzard released the 20th anniversary patch. This anniversary patch does not only give us a $90 armored longboy mount, oh boy, <laughs> but it also gives us a 20% increased XP buff and classic time walking dungeons. Now thanks to the XP buff and time walking dungeons, you will be able to level up to level 80 really, really fast. So I wanted to make a quick, um, let's call it a 20th anniversary leveling guide video for you guys. Now just to make it clear, this guide is mostly for those looking to level up alts because we are going to use chromie time all the way up to level 70. Now unfortunately, if you are a new player and haven't leveled a character to max level yet, you won't be able to use chromie time and you will basically be forced to level up in Dragonflight until you reach level 70. Now just one more thing before we get started, when the 20th anniversary ends in January, you can still check out my original 1 to 80 leveling guide. It should stay relevant until the end of the war within. So before we get started with leveling, there are a few things to mention that can help you level up even faster. First off, logging in during WoW's 20th anniversary grants you an automatic 10% XP boost. You can also pick up a daily quest for an extra 10% XP buff for 12 hours. Now to complete this quest, you have to fill a progress bar to 100% by doing activities like killing world bosses or running time walking dungeons. But there is also an easier way to fill up that bar. You can loot a pet mirror from a chest that's near Petra, the pet collector. Once you have the mirror, Summon any battle pad and simply use the mirror on it. After transforming into your battle pad, you want to click on the basket near the world boss quest giver. When you click on the basket, you will hop into it and see that the bar is slowly starting to fill up. Basically wait till it reaches 100% and then turn in the quest to get your XP buff. Now after 10 minutes, your pet transformation wears off. So if that happens and your bar has not reached 100% yet, simply just grab another pet mirror and do the same thing again until the bar reaches 100%. Now hopefully Blizzard changes the way how we get this 10% extra XP buff or at least make the buff account wide because right now you have to do this over and over on all of the alts that you want to level, which can get very annoying if you are going to level up a lot of alts. But anyway, this is basically how I get the bar filled without doing almost anything at least until Blizzard decides to nerf it. <laughs> Let's talk about heirlooms. They no longer give any XP boost. However, if you've upgraded them to scale up to level 70, they do make it so that you don't have to deal with swapping gear all the time, which saves time. Now this might actually be the only reason why you would want to get heirlooms. There are a lot of vendors around Azeroth that sell heirlooms and upgrades. So I will include a link in the description below with the exact locations of these vendors. Now there's also a potion called the Draught of the Ten Lands or Draft of the Ten Lands. I still have no idea how to pronounce it. <laughs> now this potion gives you a 10% XP boost and is only usable until level 49, but it still works after level 49. I will talk about that later in the video. Now it can be bought for five medals in Borealis if you are Alliance or Dazara Lore if you are a Horde. Now you can earn those medals by simply doing BFA content. Oh, and if you are unable to buy this potion, don't worry, um, it will still go fast enough. But if you have the currency for it, I'd say go get it. Now, as I mentioned before, the 20th anniversary patch also gave us classic time walking dungeons. These dungeons are pretty easy and completing them will give you an insane amount of XP. Now the best part is that they are immediately available at level 10. Now I'm not sure if it's a bug or if Blizzard changed it, but if I look at the Keda, TBC and Raft time walking events, it also says that you are able to queue for them at level 10. So if that's the case, it means that you will have access to time walking dungeons every week until the anniversary event ends, which is awesome for leveling characters. Then there's also a new achievement in the game, which kind of functions like the old heirlooms, I guess. This achievement basically gives your entire account an increased XP buff. Every time you level a character to 80, your account gets a 5% buff. This increases by 5% for every other character you get to level 80. Sadly, the cap right now is 25% but I still hope that they remove the cap and let people with a lot of max level characters just go crazy. <laughs> now, just a heads up, this also means that some players with more level 80 characters will be able to level up their alts a bit faster than others. You also want to check out the Dark Moon Fair. This is up every first Sunday of the month and can give you an extra 10% buff. Now with war mode and all of these XP buffs, 
you can get 65 to 75 percent increased xp that's it for the preparations let's get started with leveling up this part is only for those that are not going to level up an allied race since those characters already start at level 10. now when you create a new character you can choose between leveling in your race's starting zone or exile's reach I highly recommend starting in Exile's Reach. Exile's Reach is basically an updated beginner zone and you can go through it really fast. It's a small zone where you do some simple quests, pick up a couple of treasures along the way and the best part of it all is that Exile's Reach can be completed in under an hour if you are taking it easy. Personally, I usually finish it in about 30 minutes and it could be even faster depending on your class. After either completing Exile's Reach or making an allied race, go to the celebration area in Teneris to get your extra 10% XP buff. So grab the pet mirror, use it on your pet, then hop into the basket next to the world boss quest giver. It usually takes about 5 to 15 minutes for the bar to reach 100%. One character of mine took just 5 minutes, but another took 15. I have no idea why. <laughs> now, once the bar reaches 100%, turn in the quest to activate your XP buff. It took me about 30 minutes to get the XP buff, set up my bars and equip my heirlooms. So with all of that out of the way, we can finally start leveling. Now there are two methods that I use to reach level 20. The first one is by spamming time walking dungeons. As I mentioned before, these dungeons award an insane amount of XP, which is great. Plus the queue times are pretty good right now. Over time this might change, but even as a DPS right now, I only had a two to five minute queue. Now, the only downside is that you are stuck with a group. And if they don't know what to do, especially the tank, you can spend quite some time in just one dungeon. So if you are on a class that can tank and you know what you're doing, then I highly recommend queuing up as a tank and spamming those dungeons all the way up to level 20. When I don't want to sit in queue forever or deal with people, I simply start questing in the Legion timeline. First, I head over to Chromie and select the Legion timeline. Then I quest around in Azuna or Falshara until I reach level 20. Now with dragon riding available right away from level 10, we can fly from one quest to another very fast. Also, if you spot a legion invasion on your map, be sure to do all world quests in that invasion area. They give a lot of XP and will get you to level 20 in no time. So the first thing that I do whenever I'm leveling from around 20 to 50-ish is enable war mode for that extra 10% XP boost. Um, in my case, I hit 59, but it depends on how many XP buffs you have. Now, after enabling war mode, we are going to use Chromie time to level up in the old classic zones. So I go to Chromie and select the Cataclysm timeline because these older zones have a lot of simple quests that can be done very fast, especially since we have access to dragon riding right away. Now for an Alliance character, I usually complete all quests in Duskwood, Red Ridge Mountains and Lockmodan. It took me around two hours and 30 minutes to finish these zones and reach level 59. Like I said before, your level might be different depending on your XP buffs, but you should still end up somewhere around level 50 plus. Also, earlier I mentioned the draft of the 10 lands or however the hell it's pronounced only works until level 49. But here is a trick. If you drink it right before hitting level 50, the buff refreshes and stays active past level 49. I actually still had it up whenever I reached level 70. Now that's it for the Alliance route. For Horde characters, I'd recommend questing in Silverpine Forest, Hillsbred Foothills, and then either Arati Highlands or the Hinterlands. So yeah, that's basically how I get to level 50 plus quickly. With all the anniversary buffs, I hit 59 in about 2 hours and 30 minutes. So after completing all the quests in the 3 zones I mentioned before, we want to go back to Chromie and select the Draenor timeline. Now regardless of your faction, you will want to do the Draenor intro quests because they can be completed really fast and will give you a lot of levels. Once the intro quest is finished, I usually keep questing until I have set up my garrison. After that, I just simply fly straight over to Gorgond. By doing the Gorgond intro quests and just 3 side quests, I hit level 70. If you don't have the 25% XP boost from leveling 5 characters to 80, just keep completing side quests and bonus objectives in Gorgond until you reach level 70. Now in total it took me 3 hours of playtime to reach level 70, which is not counting the time spent setting up the 10% XP buff at the start. Oh and as you can see, <laughs> I still had 7 minutes left on my 10% XP potion, which I used back at level 49. So, 
now it's time for the last part, which is also the part that takes the longest. It actually took me in total three hours or so, which is basically the same amount of time that it took me to reach level 70. <laughs> Now, what I do to reach level 80 in a decent amount of time is simply spam time walking dungeons. These dungeons can be completed pretty quickly, especially if you get one where you can skip straight to the last boss. Now, in case you didn't know, when leveling through time walking dungeons, you mainly want the dungeon completion XP, which you get from the final boss. So if you have a tank who skips the optional bosses and heads straight to the last boss, your leveling will go a lot faster. Now, in my opinion, this is currently the fastest way to go from level 70 to 80, especially if you are tanking, since you will get instant queues and can set the pace yourself. Oh, and if you don't mind running dungeons repeatedly, you could even spam time walking dungeons all the way from level 10 to 80. I might actually try that out just to see how long it takes. <laughs> now, that said, if you are not a fan of dungeons and have unlocked world quests in the War Within zones, you can also quest in Hellofall, do some bonus objectives and world quests with war mode on. Oh, and don't forget to run each delve at least once, because the quest you get inside each delve does award you with a pretty good amount of XP as well. But yeah, that's how I basically level up my characters from level 1 to 80. Now this Drek'tir has around 6 hours of playtime, if we don't count the time setting up the character. Which is not that bad, but I still have 80 more characters to go. Oh boy, help me. But anyway... <laughs> As I always say, in the end, it's all about what you enjoy the most. Leveling fast is fun and all, but if you don't enjoy rushing quests or the zones that I recommend for you to level in, just go to another zone. Queue up for dungeons, do whatever the hell you want, because eventually you will still hit level 80. The most important thing is that you still do what you want to do and enjoy it. But guys, that's all I have for you today. If this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, just let me know in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.